Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting match on Diamond Championship Wrestling. We got a good one for you tonight. I'm HD. I'm joined by pro wrestling enthusiast Andrew Hansen. That's right. Referee who's in the ring right now, Mr. Shifty Schilling. Glad to be here. And the man himself, Mr. Gene Miller. How y'all doing? I'm doing great. All right, and uh, Andrew set us up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Matador taking on Jarrell the Beast Maxwell. Uh, the Matador looking to tame the Beast here tonight at DCW, and and uh, looks like he's uh. Yep. Shifty, yep. Shift, I want to get your thoughts on what just happened right there. Uh, I was figuring uh, some sort of attire, you know, difficulties. Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, he, you know, maybe that could be the case. I'm not sure. But uh, this match has begun. And Jarrell Maxwell, one of the up and coming superstars here at DCW, you've got the Matador, a wily veteran, looking to kind of extinguish some of that, some of that heat that Maxwell brings in to a DCW ring, and the crowd certainly loves Jarrell Maxwell. Um, Gene, let's get your thoughts on this kind of combination, you know, veteran versus, you know, kind of young uprising star. Yeah. Well, the Matador, as you well know, has been around a long time. He, uh, he likes to work his matches slow and methodical, slows down the pace, which is best for him, so he can kind of do the grind. Collar elbow tie up. For Maxwell, he's, uh, he likes to do oh, a little quicker pace. Quick flip. Headlock takeover by Jarrell Maxwell, and Matador countered it into another counter by Jarrell Maxwell. And now we're kind of at a stalemate. And uh, Matt wrestling to start the match off. Yep. Very basic, but but very useful maneuvers yeah, to start this match off. Yo, Matador, you know, he's a, he's a pretty good regular wrestler. He can do move for move, hold for hold. You know, I heard he but, killed a guy once. But, well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> but I tell you, he, uh, he, he doesn't have a problem cheating. If he needs to cheat to win, he'll do that. Too. This is true. It's Shifty Schilling. You're the man in the ring right now. Uh, you're having to be the one to, to kind of control them, them dirty tactics, if you will, the Matador. When you're, when you're dealing with a, with a wrestler, such as the Matador, who certainly doesn't mind taking liberties to gain advantages in the match. How, how do you handle that? Well, I wish Gene probably would have told me it was a cheer before I got out there. That would have been a nice uh -oh. hit. Uh-oh. This is true. Right back in the same holds, same counters, and now another stalemate. You may be going to the well one too many times, yeah. perhaps. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I agree. But it could be it could be mind games also. Again. The, the Matador, 20-plus year veteran. Another headlock takeover by Jarrell Maxwell. The, see if he can keep out of that hit and see what happens. Exactly, exactly. You know, and uh, Andrew, I've heard you in the past talk about um, Jarrell and uh, how much heart he has. As Absolutely. A um, but, you know, you've got somebody like the Matador in here who you've talked about the experience, uh, been around the block quite a few times, 20 years experience. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Jarrell's been here, what, uh, how many years? I mean, Jarrell, Jarrell has been with DCW since around the beginning. He's been, he's been in the wrestling business for about three or four years now. Certainly doesn't have the experience that the Matador has, as you can see that big shot to the face. Another one, and you can see Shifty Schilling there admonishing him for that closed fist. Oh, and, like an eye poke there or and something. And kind of messing with authority right there. Just giving yeah. a blatant thumb in the eye for the sake of the referee trying to admonish him. Headlock takeover by the Matador to Jarrell Maxwell. And that's again where that experience comes into mind. And Maxwell uh -oh. rolling him up. Oh, but the Matador great. well scouted that. He, he probably knew that was coming. Probably not the first time he's been reversed like that. And he's giving him a noogie or something over there. I, he, another illegal tactic. Uh, you know, and, and you can't blame the referees. I, I, you know, oh! You, you know, I know you're right there. I, you don't. You can't see everything. Right, so. I can't be everywhere. Exactly, unfortunately, as the Matador hooks the ropes. He, you saw he tried to get out much like Maxwell was a minute ago. and He's out the ring. And he was not able to. Maxwell got some big, strong legs on him. He's probably squeezing that... That head is. Jarrell Maxwell is a former DCW television champion looking to win more championships and have more accolades in Diamond Championship Wrestling. And, uh, you know, speaking speaking of, of, of championships and accolades and, and really important stuff, here's, here's something very important. This match is brought to you by Coles Automotive out of Van Cleve, one of our, our long-running sponsors, and we want to thank them once again for sponsoring us. 
Looked like the Matador. He just had to wipe his feet off on the mat on the outside of the ring. That's all that was, guys. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That. That. I'm sure that's what it was. Clean. Now he's back in. He's ready to go. Yeah. I'm sure that's what that was. Um. I think that's wishful thinking. Yeah. Collar double tie up. He's got the wrist. Setting up in a wrist lock. Maxwell. Yeah, Maxwell's probably probably not used to this kind of offense, perhaps. You know, he's not the most technical wrestler in the world, and, and that's not knocking, because Jarrell Maxwell is, is one of the more finer DCW superstars to compete in the ring. Like, I've, I've always mentioned his heart. He's got a huge heart, and, and the fans exuberate around that, and he's definitely one of the bigger fan favorites here in DCW. Yeah, but Andrew, if you look at it, Maxwell's staying hold for hold with This yeah. is true, you're, you're absolutely Whoa. right, and he knocked the Matador out of the ring. That was a smart maneuver right there. You know, a minute ago, the Matador wanted to take a break, and now Maxwell's giving him another break. That's right. All right, Maxwell is uh, he's counting out with you, Shifty Schilling, he's giving, giving you some help there. And, and Matador is down. It, this could this could be a count out victory for Jarrell Maxwell. You don't see those often. You you don't see those often. Uh, a, a lot of times, a lot of times, the superstar is able to get in the ring before the count of ten. And you know, guys like the Matador, they like to play with that count. I'm sure Shifty Shilling, you have experienced that in the past. Quite quite a few of these fellas like to do that. And Matador's in there and he's talking to me about the rules, mm. um, saying that uh, Jarrell Maxwell tossed him over the top rope, which anybody could plainly see he did. Yeah, he threw him through the through the middle rope and uh, you know, throwing over the top rope was a was a, a long ago illegal illegal, you know, could be disqualified. Of course that's changed in recent years, you know. And now the Matador taking the upper hand at this point to Jarrell Maxwell. And nice elbow to the top of the dome. And perhaps going to use the ropes for a little bit of leverage. Yes, he does. All right. And Jarrell is worse for wear right now. Again, Wiley Veteran. Uh oh. Oh, but that didn't quite work out. That, I can imagine that did not feel good. Big shot to the skull of the Matador. Atomic oh. drop. And now, yeah, he's that, singing in higher octaves already. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. And now he's hanging on the ropes. Nice yeah. shot. Jack in the box. Yeah, exactly. Kind of a teeter totter situation. Maxwell with some heavy hitters onto the Matador. And then Shifty Shilling admonished Monster Maxwell for that close fist. How often? How often do you have to get onto somebody for a close fist? Too many times. Too many Andrew. times. You you would think they learned that in wrestling yes, school. This is wrestling, not boxing. Yeah, exactly. So the Matador, the Matador is kind of worse for wear right now, I would say. He had a little bit of momentum. Jarrell cut that off, and now he's playing with the count. Yeah. Um, again, this is this is just to try and move up in the ranks in DCW, you know, for perhaps future championship opportunities. Um, you know, and so and it uh -oh, looks like the got, Matador. got something going on. I don't think it's a wardrobe I, malfunction. I, I don't know. He might just be adjusting himself. You never know. You never know. And he's waiting for Jarrell Maxwell, looks like. And Jarrell's trying oh. to get, oh, wow. come on. Nice and low by the Matador. And Shifty, it uh, doesn't appear you saw that. No, I did see it. I, mean, I called him out on it. I told him, don't be kicking him in the dirty south. Oh, man, <laughs> yeah, the dirty south is right. That's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Nice elbow to the head of Jarrell Maxwell. And uh, this action's continuing, I mean, Again, again with those elbows. Matador doing, he's, he's been using the ring to his advantage if you have a oh. big clothesline though by Terrell Maxwell. And another huge clothesline by Maxwell to the Matador. Here we go. And now sending him off to the corner. Back wow. body drop and that was huge. That was Down huge. from the roof. Yes, that was, ladies and gentlemen, the Matador is definitely worse for wear. And wait a minute, what's going on here? Looks like he's grabbing his arm and his chest. He's yeah, grabbing, that, that's that's right. What's? I I don't I don't know what's going on here. Perhaps perhaps he needs some medical, medical attention. Uh, Jarrell is concerned. It looks yeah, like. Yeah, he does. Shifty, what's Look going through your mind right now? Well, on um, this. I was scared, actually. I had no idea what was going on. I just wanted to make sure that... Uh, if oh, my God! Then a nice shot, hooking him with an inside cradle, and that is the wily veteran known as the Matador. Oh, my. And 
absolutely despicable. Have you been denied your Social Security disability benefit and are seeking an attorney to help with your claim? Before rushing out to hire someone, you should ask, will my case be handled by an attorney or a non-attorney representative? Does your attorney live in South Mississippi where you live? And will your attorney meet with you before the day of your case? Better yet, just contact the Turner Law Group or visit them online and let them put their experience to work for you throughout all of South Mississippi and Alabama. Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting, and I mean exciting, episode of Diamond Championship Wrestling. We've got the one and only Vladimir Kolov in there. And uh, let's go to pro wrestling enthusiast Andrew Hansen. Andrew, set us up with who we got. Well, right here, like you said, we've got Russian Destruction, Vladimir Koloff, the current King of Diamonds, taking on Alexander Overton in what is sure to be a hard-hitting contest. Uh, this is for bragging rights without a doubt. To my, to my right, I've got Shifty Schilling, and we've got Gene Miller. And guys, what's your thoughts on this match before it gets started? Well, this is definitely going to be hard hitting. Both these guys like to, like that punching and you know, heavy hitting, so it's going to be interesting to see who can hit harder. Yeah, I agree. Uh, both these guys, big sma uh, smash mouth style. Um, I'm sorry to say, Koloff's underhanded and crooked. Uh, I keep a close eye on him. Hey, hey, absolutely, absolutely, uh, Got no, to. no argument here. Vladimir Koloff does try to bend the rules as much as possible. Uh, I, I'm sure you were fortunate that you weren't having to officiate this match and look for those kind of underhand tactics. Uh, so, Vladimir, why didn't you up? And yeah. telling him to shut up. All right. Vlad Vladimir Koloff likes to run his mouth. I think that's. I think that goes without saying. I think what it is is more psychological warfare than anything. Absolutely, absolutely. Trying to get the other wrestler off the game. But, you know, he's got something to do with the Overton. Here we go. Collar elbow tie up. And Overton uh -oh, right off right the rip. Right That's cool oh, boy. No. This can do it right here. No. Vladimir Koloff very quick to kick out. He did not Vladimir, see that coming. Vladimir, he's shocked. He, don't, he, did, he doesn't realize now what just happened. And now he's, he's telling referee, hey, he pulled my mask. I don't think he pulled his mask. I think Overton just had his number for a brief moment there. And Vladimir, none too pleased with what just happened. And uh, White Shoes Gravada uh, consulting the audience to see if uh, there was a mask pool. So. Exactly. So Vladimir didn't get his way on that call. And, uh, you know, Vladimir Koloff with the needs more Koloff movement. I got to say, Vladimir's costume is on point as far as, um, you know, sticking with the whole uh, the, Soviet Union. The look. classic Soviet colors. Uh, Something Vladimir don't often do, believe, does, believe it or not. Yeah, he uh, switches things up. He does. Oh! Uh, shoulder tackle by big Vladimir Koloff. 275 the pounds. Symbol on the chest, the back, and the thigh. That's right. Uh, definitely, definitely a throwback in terms of what he's wearing here tonight. And Overton saying, all right, you got me on that. You got yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Come on. You know, you hit me hard. And now we're going to lock up again. Vladimir Koloff with a big body slam to Alexander Overton. And now it looks like off the rope, setting up for a splash, but Overton moved out of the way. He was ready for that one. And now, rolling thunder into a splash, going for the cover. This could do it right here. And you pull off quick to get his shoulders up. Overton's got that uh, Dino Brown, the splashes and those maneuvers, the way he kind of moves and does the head bob and stuff. Absolutely. Reminds me a lot of Dino Brown. And Alexander Overton is a man with swagger, a member of the King, Kings of Destiny. Let him call it the King of Diamonds. That's a lot of KODs involved. And uh, he's kind of taking a breather. He's, he's almost holding his chest there. Yeah, he just took a big splash from Alexander Overton. One of the one of the more fine competitors here in DCW and Alexander Overton. A, form, a former tag team champion, multiple time tag team champion of Too Quick. Went oh, for a test of go. strength. Sneaky the, Russian tactics. Thumb to the eye, big forearms to Alexander Overton, and a big chop to the chest. But one thing we've learned about Alexander Overton is he, he welcomes those yeah, chops. Alexander, he's just looking him, look staring at the, him right in the eyes, like bring it on. The look in his eyes. Gene, what's your thoughts on Alexander Overton? Well, I think Vladimir Kolov just pissed him off. He took his gloves <laughs> off. Uh-oh. Oh, what a chop to Vladimir. 
You know, not many people, not many people can say they can go toe to toe with a big guy like the Russian. No. But Alexander Overton doing just that, and now Vladimir looks like he cut him off with a knee to the chest, and now hitting him in the back, using them heavy arms, and plants him with another one. Vladimir had enough of the game. He's going for the pin. Yes, he did. Going for the cover right here, but Overton. In ring awareness, that's why he is a, uh, I want to say over a 15, 17 year plus veteran, but co op dropping the knee onto Alexander Overton as this match rolls on. He's actually pretty smart at co op. He needs to wear Overton, Overton down. That's right, big back elbow. He needs to. Oh! He's got a lot of speed and, and stamina against Vladimir Koloff. I know he's lost a lot of weight, but he's still a big guy. And, you know, after a while, you know, Alexander Overton could get the better of him. And Vladimir locking in that, that waist lock right now. The Russian bear, uh, it looks like, you know? Absolutely. Um, you know, just with, without a doubt, these two guys, want, you know, going to have a bomb oh. over here. Snapmare reversal. Snapmare reversal. Drop kick oh, to the man. back of Vladimir Koloff by Alexander Overton in this match. Is continuing on. Alexander Overton with some heavy forearms of himself. Definitely rolling some steam in. And uh, I mean, again, guys, just this right here for nothing more again but bragging rights. You know, Alexander Overton was a part of that big King of Diamonds match that Vladimir Koloff won. I'm sure he's looking for a little bit of revenge. And big Ooh, splash. Man, did you see the height he got he, on that? He got up high Ooh. and a nice bulldog. There's some flair on it too, that's it. That's over. No, Vladimir Koloff got his shoulder up. Got his shoulder up. Now, now, Shift, you see why I got you here? You know, Absolutely. Uh, you know, a lot of people's misconception about, about a kick out is just that, you know, if you manage to kick out, that breaks the pin. But explain explain to the crowd at home the, the sole purpose is Vladimir hits a huge sidewalk slam. Going for the cover right here. Overton got his shoulders up, which kind of goes into what you Yes, like. absolutely. It's really good to just get your shoulder all the way up. You know? It's all about the shoulders, not, not the legs. Absolutely. But the kicking is the momentum as Vladimir drops another knee onto Alexander Overton. Definitely looks like he's frustrated right now as he drops another knee. Try, I, perhaps he's trying to regroup and think, okay, what do I need to do next? And now it looks like he's going, he's going up to the ropes. This is yes. very bad. 275 pounds coming off the second rope. Dropping. Cold War Nuke. A Cold War Nuke. That is right. Vladimir Koloff with the cover. And Alexander Overton getting short. Perhaps a lack of days of recovery. He didn't exactly right. have his shoulders pinned to the mat, just the leg look more or less. I guess that's why it's important to get a really good pin in there because, you know, you got to get some weight on those little, you know, kind of. Uh, Halfway doing it's not gonna not gonna do it, especially with somebody like Alexander. You know, a guy like Vladimir Koloff, you know, is is very arrogant. He he, he exudes arrogance in, in everything he does, and sometimes it doesn't work out in his favor. Most times, actually, it doesn't work out in his favor. But right now, he's got he, him locked in. He's got him locked in right now, and then Alexander Overton looks worse for wear. This could very well the be the end of this. They need to get behind him, get him pumped up. He needs to get out of this. Absolutely, uh, and he's looking for that the fans' energy right now, the DCW fans. Oh. And uh, speaking of, of DCW fans, as he went for a close on Overton Duck, nice knee to the skull in the chest area of Vladimir Koloff, and a big shoulder block taking the big man down. Another big shoulder to Vladimir. He's not used to being hit like that, and you can tell by how he just reacted. And now Alexander Overton. Nice strong hits to Vladimir Koloff. And off the ropes, oh. spinning wheel kick to the jaw, and that's gotta be it. Hey, that was a knockout right there. And just barely, Vladimir Koloff managed to get his shoulder up. Three millimeters from hand to mat for a three count. Absolutely, that, that was rough right there. Vladimir Koloff took a huge kick to the chin. And I'm surprised that didn't knock him out. And a big thumb to the eye once again by Vladimir Koloff. Out of desperation, yeah. no doubt. I mean, it's got to take a lot out of you. You put all that into it, get him down, and you don't get the three count. You know, it's, it's just got to it's gotta be a, a drive killer. And know? choking him out of pure desperation, it, it looks like. And, and, you know. Vladimir looks like he's starting to get the upper hand. Off the ropes, went for another clothesline. He did not get it. Alexander Overton uh -oh. just jumping on him. Knocking him what? down to the mat. 
and now he's he's got his shoulders pinned. He's got his shoulders pinned. This could do it. No, Vladimir Kolov kicks out. It wasn't, but it almost worked. It almost did it. For two out of three, it did. Yes. And Vladimir knocking Overton out of the ring now. Hit him so hard, he rolled out of the ring. And the referee trying to stop Vladimir Koloff, which referees would do, but obviously he's not going to listen. Yeah, good luck with that. Exactly. Oh. Big forearm by Alexander Overton. Hitting Koloff, another knee to the skull. Reaches up with that knee. Sunset flip. Wait a minute, Vladimir's got the leg. He's got his hands on the rope. He's got his oh, arms wrapped geez. around it. What a cheap victory by Vladimir Koloff. I mean, ladies, guys, that just does not surprise me. White shoes, you gotta see that. Come on! Referee out of position, Vladimir managed to pull off the victory. this uh, entity known as Rob Cabello. Well, this is the first time we've seen him uh, with this character, but I'll tell you, I, I kind of like it. He's more aggressive, uh, you know, he looks a little bit more hungry. That's yeah. right, and John Taylor coming back with some shots of his own. Um, you know, as, as you can see, referee Don Gravatt, white shoes in the ring right now, but we've actually got a referee right here with us in Shifty Shilly. Hold on. Uh, what's your thoughts on these two superstars? Well, I noticed that they're both using closed fists in the ring. I'm not liking that. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is true. Closed fists are illegal in professional wrestling. Uh, if, if Shifty was in there, he'd call it. He'd, he'd let him know, he hey. He would. So now it looks like uh, the entity's going to take a breather. Yeah, and let's get a little bit more on this because I saw him as uh, what was, you know, as himself, and now he's this the entity. And you know, it was Halloween, but is this something that's going to stick? We're not sure. When I, you know, normally, normally Rob really likes to show his handsome side, if you will, right? A very arrogant like being. But you know, the the, the day of this taping, you know, I won't lie, you, you almost couldn't find him in the back. You almost couldn't. He was, you know, no one saw him until right before the match got started, and and he's definitely shown some aggression. Right, he took uh, that pretty boy mask off and the entity was underneath. Exactly, but now, you know, maybe perhaps playing a little bit of mind games. John Taylor, as, we, as we've told before, is a rookie. He's been in the business less than a year and he's looking to make a name for himself. But right uh, now... What do we got here? Well, Rob Cabell looks like he could be setting up for a suplex. Uh -oh. Maybe perhaps, no. Oh. John Taylor countered with a suplex of his own and now... They're well, rustling. Smart, Rob, smart right there. Rob Cabello, you know, that's that's a that's a break right there when he gets a hold of the ropes, and perhaps not expecting that John Taylor would do that. Um, John's new, but I mean, honestly, over the past couple fights that I've seen, I wouldn't be able to tell he's new. I mean, he's doing really good. He is doing rather well. And uh, Gene, I got to tell you, what what could this win? Nice. You be nice arm drag by John Taylor, and another arm drag by John Taylor to Rob Cabello. And now, one wow. more arm drag. Pull me once. That's right. And now he's got a hold locked in on the arm, working the arm of Rob Cabella. And I was going to ask you, Gene, uh, you know, with you, you know, you are the president of DCW. What could a win for either one of these guys do in, in terms of getting up in the ranks, perhaps getting a title shot in the future? Well, you know, when you, when you win, it just steps, gets you one step closer. Absolutely. Uh, you know, John Taylor being, you know, as you said, being a rookie that he is, he's looking for his first win. That would be a huge confidence Ooh, for him. Very nice, nice by time. Rob Cabello. Very nice send time by, by Rob Cabello. Stepping off of him and just playing. He's hard to lock down. I mean, he, he thought he had him in that arm bar maneuver thing, and then next thing you know, he's flipping around, he's got him up, and then bam. He's and got, Rob, he's right Cabello, Rob Cabello, no matter the entity or character, uh, persona, if you will, definitely one of the more athletic DCW uh -oh. superstars. Now, now, Shifty Silly, I want to ask you this. You know, I want to look at this from a referee's perspective. Absolutely. Um, what are you looking at? What are you looking for in in a match like this? You know, Rob Cabello showing a complete different side, a little more aggression. Uh, what are you looking out for in terms of a match like this? Well, I go in there no matter what these fellas look like. Uh, just calling it down the middle. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets a clean slate and we just see how it plays out during the match. Right, absolutely, absolutely. And Rob Cabello with strong shots you saw just a minute ago, he hit him in the gut and now across the back. And oh. 
working him in the corner, and and he's he's looking. Use him as a punching bag. Looking in, looking to pull off a big victory here tonight. Again, oh. nice kick to the just to the jaw of John My Taylor. Gosh. And now, what a disrespectful pin. Lackadaisical cover. That's not going to do it right there. Oh, uh, you would think Rob would have would have got down, maybe hooked the leg, and tried to put him in a in a proper pinning predicament. But He's not done. He is not done. He wants to continue to punish John Taylor. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. And uh, you know, again, both you know, Rob Cabello just coming back from a break in DCW. John Taylor trying to work his way up in the ranks. Both gentlemen right here need a win here tonight to kind of solidify themselves in DCW. And uh, you know, there's 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 not very many championships to hold, not very many opportunities. You have to use moments like this to take an opportunity. And Rob Cabela is doing just that, continuing with the strikes, and now he's got an arm bar locked in on John Taylor, and John's in a lot of trouble right now. He is. He's getting him a taste of his own medicine from earlier. Just arm bar for arm bar, but he's got that one locked in deep. This is true. This is true. I wouldn't be counting John Taylor out, though. He's a pretty this strong This is true. Oh, and actually, matter of fact, he's got him in a roll-up right here. No, Rob Cabela kicks out, and John going right back on him like he should. Like he should. You know, Gene, uh, I guess the biggest question I have I have for you is uh, what do you see in these guys' future, as far or their DCW future, to be precise? Well, John Taylor's got, I think, a pretty promising future. He's, you know... It's going to take a while to get his experience and, you know, no telling how long it'll take to get his win. But I think in the distant future, I think he'll be real strong going towards uh, some title pictures and all that. This is true. I think he'll be very competitive. Now, Rob, he, uh, I like this side of him right now, this aggressive Ooh, side. Wow. So this, you know, this may be a change for him also. You know, he was doing really well for us before he took that sabbatical where he had to go out of town. Been back and not had too good, uh, too good fortune. Uh, uh, that could change right here, though. I mean, he has been aggressive without a shadow of a doubt, and uh, he flips him over with his head. I don't know if we've pointed this out. As he go, uh, almost had it right there. Uh, you know, John Taylor's nose has actually been bleeding. Yeah. You know, from yeah. the results of just pure aggression from Rob Cabela. Right. Uh, definitely something that needs to stick around in the future for for Rob. Yeah, there's um, no mercy at all either. I mean, not at all. He has stayed on him absolutely for majority of this match. And bloody nose and all he another, goes right back to his face. Another hard shot by Rob Cabela to John Taylor. John a Japanese arm drag it looked like right there. And now setting him up for a body slam, perhaps. He hits it, plants him onto the mat, and, and now he's in position for he's something in the zone. big. Hey, yes, he is, is in the, the zone. zone. The zone is in the zone. Ooh. Side effect by John Taylor. This could do it right here. That's it. That's it. No, Rob Cabela kicked out. You I know, that was it, guys. Shifty, I, mean, I got to ask you, in moments like that, big maneuvers, I mean, you know, how often have you seen where you are just within inches of the mat only for a superstar to throw a shoulder up? Plenty of times, you know, and when big maneuvers are happening like that, I try to get in position, you know. Absolutely. Every second counts. That's a pivotal yep. moment in the match. John didn't quite do it, but he's on the uh, top now. He made and, a mistake. Oh, oh, wow, what a shot by Rob Cabela. John Taylor almost fell out of the ring onto the floor. Look out, John. He's coming up. Yeah, this is not good. You know, he is in, he is in a high-risk zone right here without a shadow oh, no. of a doubt. And what does he have set up? What oh, has he got planned? No. White Shoes doesn't know what to do. Oh! oh big right. cutter off the top rope, planting John Taylor onto the mat. That's That's got to yes. do it. That's got to be it right there. One, two, three. That is it. Rob Cabela with a big win.